so this year the ESOC meeting uh, is over three days as usual. Um, it is virtual, as you know. Um, it's been quite difficult uh, juggling between the aspiration to have a in-person meeting and the reality that it was just going to have to be virtual. Um, we've worked extremely hard to make the platform on which the conference sits as accessible as possible. So there will be as much uh, opportunity for live discussion, for meeting people, for connecting with like-minded individuals, um, for questioning speakers and discussing things. So, so that's a really important part of it. And then in terms of the scientific content, um, the programme committee have worked extremely hard to put together a, a programme which you know, tries to push the boundaries around what we know already. Um, and we've been very fortunate to receive a large number of very, very good abstracts, which will be included in the programme, scientific abstracts. And that was very encouraging because in addition to COVID, you know, making it so difficult to actually host meetings, it's also had a massive impact on the ability to carry on research in most parts of the world. So it was very encouraging and reassuring to see that we were receiving some absolutely, you know, stellar abstracts around um, several aspects of stroke, which include acute ischemic stroke, uh, hemorrhagic stroke, uh, secondary prevention, primary treatment, uh, other complications, cognitive problems to do with um, blood vessel diseases in the brain, um, new approaches to trying to improve rehabilitation and recovery uh, using you know various gadgets and electronic stimulation and all sorts of things like that. So really interesting. <laughs> 